I'm Coach Kelly. This week we'll be focusing on creating and practicing healthy habits. Just a reminder, the three key themes we'll be focusing on are be, do, give. Being present, doing something to contribute to your health each day, and giving gratitude for your health. And if you're joining us as a fundraiser, giving the gift of health to others through your fundraising support of Mission of Mercy. Now let's jump into week four. We've had three great weeks of giving more steps, fruits and veggies, and creating self-care time. This is the week to bring all of those habits together and start creating your healthy routine. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the American Heart Association highlight that planning your healthy habits, like meals and exercise time, help you save money, manage your time, and reduce extra calories from your diet. You put in the hard work of creating these good habits, now let's keep them going with a plan. As a health coach, I know that food prep is one of the most challenging parts of healthy planning because of the time it takes to shop, cook, and create the meal. So I'm lucky today to have Cecilia Chapman here with me from Mission of Mercy. Cecilia is a registered dietitian and she will be sharing two easy low prep meals to help save you time. We love the convenience of easy prep meals and Cecilia will show us how to make them nutritious too. Hi Kelly. I have a very simple and easy and very nutritious salad. We always think about having salad for summertime that now that it's coming. So we have come up with a very simple salad with avocados and we know avocados are very healthy. So what we need to have is a tuna avocado, the tuna that has been drained and then we put them in here in a bowl. And we're also gonna need a little bit of bell peppers red bell peppers that are rich in vitamin A, a little bit of onions, jalapenos to give it a little kick, and then cilantro to give it a really nice, nice, fresh taste. We also will put some lime in it to give it another nice drop of uh, vitamin C, make it taste wonderful. So Kelly, are you ready to learn how to make a simple, delicious, and nutritious salad? I am. If it tastes as good as it smells, I think I'm in for a treat. So. Wonderful. So let's get started. Okay. So first of all, remember we drained the tuna. It's mm -hmm. nice and dry. And you can use the oil base or the water base. But I always like to use the water because it has less calories and it's very delicious. So I'm going to put the tuna into the bowl, first of all, okay? And that's simple enough. Then we're going to use the bell peppers. The bell peppers, remember, they're full of vitamin A. Some vitamin C, but the red have the vitamin A. The green have the vitamin C. So let's get some vitamin C in there. Let's get the jalapenos. They're full of vitamin C, so they're wonderful, and they give you a special little kick. Oh, and don't forget the onions, the red onions. The red onions are really, really nice in this recipe. So we're putting them in there to give it that nice, fresh taste is the cilantro. So we have about a fourth cup of cilantro in there. We mix it all together, but don't forget the lime, lime juice. And I'm going to squeeze it and put about a tablespoon of lime in. Just a little bit of tang. So I noticed that there are all different tang. sizes in there. So these all want to be cut down to the size that you can really kind of, you know, fit on a spoon or a fork pretty easily. That right? is correct because we're going to put it on top of your avocado. Of course, that's the key to the salad is having a half of an avocado. Now, a lot of people think, oh, avocados are very high in fat. But remember, this is monounsaturated fats. And these kinds of fats is what we need. We also want to put a little bit of salt to give it some taste. And so we're going to do that. Okay, and then we're going to put a little bit of pepper as well. So we take about a eighth of a teaspoon. We don't want to put too much, and mix it a little bit more. Oop, there we go. And then we mix it, and then we're ready to put the salad into our avocados. So we stuff them as much as they can fit in there. So it's okay if you're really pushing it down in there and trying to oh, pack yeah. in those avocados. Oh, yeah. You want to put that as much tuna because remember, tuna is also a protein. So we need some protein for our salad so it can help us stay satisfied for at least three to four hours. Mm -hmm. So doesn't this look wonderful? It here? does. The mm -hmm. color is amazing. 
And the, the texture, I imagine, with some of those, you know, fresh vegetables in there are going to give it a little bit of crunch, a bunch of different flavors that are mixed in with it, and then the creaminess of the avocado, I think, is going to be really so I'm good. I'm going to put as much as I can in there and stuff them down so they can fill up. Okay, so now we have a wonderful salad that will be simple and easy to have at lunch. And on to recipe number two. Cecilia, what do we have for recipe number two? I see a lot of colors here. Yes, I love colors. So we decided to make a ramen noodle salad. Oh. Now we all use ramen noodles where, especially when we were in college, that was the only thing we had to eat. But now we want to make this ramen noodles into a very healthy salad. So we start with a cabbage mix salad. Okay, and we open the bag and put it in here. Now we get shredded carrots because we want to make this easy. We don't want to have to chop a lot. Yes. So we just pour it in there. Wonderful. Who doesn't love Nami beans? So we put those thawed into the salad, okay? And then we also want to add a little bit of onions, a little bit of spice, the green onions. So we put those in as well. And here comes the ramen noodles. They should be a little bit toasted in the oven to give it a really nice crisp. So we put this in there and we are going to mix it. We put the little oranges in there a little bit later. So we're going to mix it up really nice. Okay, and then we're going to put the salad dressing. The salad dressing is very simple. We just take some vinegar fourth cup of vinegar and I'm just gonna kind of mix it put it in together so a fourth cup of vinegar is any vinegar good for this recipe well we use rice vinegar because it's not as strong but any kind of vinegar I love um, the apple vinegar uh, apple me, cider me vinegar is wonderful but we also love that olive oil so we're gonna put about three tablespoons of olive oil and that's about three tablespoons of olive oil we always want a little bit of sweetness, and so we're going to add some nice honey, raw honey, to the dressing. And we're going to add a tablespoon of that, and then a little tang, a little, little sweetness. sweetness. Yeah. Right, that's wonderful. And to give it some flavor, a little bit of soy sauce, soy sauce, less sodium kind, because we want to cut back a little bit on all the salt we eat. And then we add a little bit of pepper to that. We measure that I like to measure because sometimes I can go overboard on the pepper mm -hmm. and of course just a tad of salt and sprinkle it in there but give it about three crunches and mix it with your fork if I can find my fork there it is so, so we just mix it up a little bit. There's a lot of ingredients with this, but it's all pretty easy to assemble. Right. Even though there's a few little steps, you can just very easily put this all together into one meal. Yes. So most of the things that I got uh, is they have been chopped, they're grated, and they're ready for you. So all you have to get is a big bowl and then put them together and then drizzle the dressing. And you add your mandarin oranges okay so the mandarin oranges go on top and now since it was already mixed a little bit so we're just going to mix it gently because we don't want to tear up the mandarin oranges so now you have a wonderful salad that's full of vitamins and minerals and most important fiber it will keep you satisfied throughout the day and you'll feel so well Cecilia, these all look and smell so delicious. Thank you so much for joining us today. You'll be able to find another recipe from Cecilia on our social media later this week, so be sure to check that out. Cecilia and I thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you have fun planning this week. And I'll see you on May 1st with our final challenge summary. Take care. Kelly, I have a salad for you. Have a healthy salad for today. Thank you. You're welcome.